Hello, and thank you for joining us tonight. Um, I hope you've had a great week. I've had a great week, and I've had a chance to work and talk with some wonderful people, chiropractors, doctors, health practitioners, and, and customers with all kinds of issues this week. It's been an, an incredible last week, and we're already um, receiving some great comments for this week. So I want to I wanna share, how's this sound? Can I get a thumbs up if everybody can hear all right? It was good. All right. Thank you. And what we're going to be talking about tonight and I'm going to go through is exercises that we can incorporate for people that might have neck issues or back issues and it just increased flexibility. Um, we've had some people do some of the more advanced movements on the solar sizer where they've been kicking their legs out and kicking back and and They've had some muscles kind of uh, tense up on them to protect the nerve, and that's not very comfortable. So I want to encourage everybody, we want to go easy on it to begin with. And as we, as we get going, then we can start doing some more of the advanced movements. But what I'm going to be talking about tonight is something that's helpful for everybody. Um, again, I've got to say, consult with your doctor or health practitioner if you have a medical condition. But these are going to address the vertebral joints in the neck, the upper cervical, how we approach it with the solar sizer, shoulders, shoulder blades, the scapula, um, as well as the, the vertebral joints up and down and, and the, the lower back as well. But I'd like to read something that is one of the best written reviews from a doctor who I've always really appreciated his insights because he got it. He's been practicing for over 33 years now. And he's actually uh, a cousin to our dear Christine here. <laughs> and I, I didn't know that um, until uh, many, many years later when I met Christine. But I think it's kind of ironic how paths kind of cross each other, maybe even for a purpose. But this is from Dr. Jeffrey Haynes. He says, During my 13 years as a practicing chiropractic physician, I have been keenly aware of the importance of biomechanics in the human arena of wellness and expression. Kinetic motion is absolutely imperative and necessary for true health in individuals. When the movement of joints and articulations become compromised through sedentary lifestyle, trauma, stress, poor nutrition, poor posture, and the aging process itself, then a host of physical problems ensue. Accelerated osteoarthritis is a result of poorly functioning and moving joint or spinal discs. Impaired nerve function results when spinal vertebrae and discs are not mechanically functioning as they were designed. And we're going to be addressing some of that. Therefore, the importance of a properly moving spine and joints cannot be underestimated in the overall health and wellness of an individual. Dave Hall has amplified upon this well-known concept and has taken it to an even deeper level of application, that of the cellular level of motion. His cellular size system employs concepts of biomechanics and kinetics that will be most helpful to people of all ages. It is known that 90% of brain's active energy is expended on calculations and minor corrections and balancing and knowing where the body is in space at any given moment in time. Only 10% of the brain's activity is used in actual cognitive or thinking functions. This reality truly demonstrates the importance of the brain places on knowing how every part of the body is moving and what position it is in. This also illuminates how much fatigue and dysfunction result in a person when the mechanics or the body is not in balance. Our society today would be much more vibrant, healthy, and full of vitality if they pay more attention to getting enough kinetic exercise in a given day. Dave Hall's cellar size system is very proficient at focusing on this goal. Health and wellness will be the result of such activity properly and consistently applied. The cerebral spinal fluid the pumping action that is created by spinal joint movement is essential to proper brain function and fluid dynamics of the spinal cord. Spinal disc health is bereft 
without the constant movement of water into and out of the disc themselves. In fact, the disc of the human spine consists of 80% water. This imbibing of water and nutrients in the spinal disc is wholly accomplished by the body's kinetic movements, which act as a pump. Without such movement, and in the spine, the discs starve, literally. Disc herniations and degeneration are highly intensified when improper or inadequate biomechanics of the joints exist. Dave Hall's system goes a long way in inducing and maintaining this most necessary motion in the human body. Dr. Haynes. He gets it, and I really appreciate what, uh, what he had to sh share with all of us. Okay, a few customer reviews. Been cellar sizing for 80 days straight now. This just came in today. Five minutes in the morning and 10 minutes in the evening. I am noticing more definition on my legs for sure. My neck and my shoulders too. I'm even noticing more muscularity and vascularity in my forearms. Feel more agile and the skin feels tighter. My goal is to get to six months nonstop in order to experience the maximum benefits. Looking forward to it. Thank you, Juan. Do you mind if we take one second? They're saying they're struggling with the sound. Okay. I know this one is going to work for right now. All right. But I hate for um, I hate for them to not hear you. So I'm going to go ahead and see. Sorry, everybody. Um, we're going to switch this out. Testing one, two, three. Does that sound, Since we're all made up of cells, about 75 trillion of them, <laughs> doesn't it stand to oh, reason? Okay, sound is good at okay. Elizabeth's place, so you, that Elizabeth. works. Okay, right. let's hope that's better for people. I apologize. And maybe if we can turn that sound off back there. I don't yeah, know. Um, <laughs> Did I get the right one? <laughs> I think we just caught it. And Okay. All right, I'm tethered. Okay. Okay, all right. This is, uh, this came in on Halloween. And it is from Mary, Mary Ellen. Thank you, Mary. We had a health fair here at work today and I took advantage of a free cholesterol test. This happens annually and for years I've had more or less the same results slightly over the recommended range, usually a total of 205 to 210. My HDL good cholesterol is usually high and balances the fact that my LDL bad cholesterol is over the limit and drives the total number up. I get about the same results when I do a standard lab court blood test. Again, the numbers have remained stable at those levels for years and years, as long as I can remember. Well, today, for the first time, it was different and I can only attribute it to my daily cellular sizing. Cellular sizing has been known to help lower elevated cholesterol and triglyceride levels. My total cholesterol was down to 187, exclamation points. That is unheard of for me, and my HDL was 93, which the nurse said was off the roof high and was great. She said that 50 is great and mine is 43 points over that. Not bad for a 61-year young woman, who takes no medication, not for cholesterol or anything. Below is a screenshot of the results. How can I thank you for being the wonderful health warrior that you are? Thank you, Mary Ellen. Appreciate you and all of you. Okay. Receive my cellar sizer. Super excited. The delivery time in Australia took only six days, and the quality is outstanding. I feel so very blessed and grateful. Thank you, David and team. Also posted this on Cellar Sizer page. Not sure which one is active. Well, it got to us. You're great. Okay. This one's from Tina. I can't praise and recommend the Cellar Sizer enough. I know it got me in probably the best condition I've ever been in and prepared for this hike. I was strong and focused, didn't suffer any breathing problems, had excellent endurance and stamina, and felt great after hiking about 14 hours. I started cellar sizing November 26, 2018, 
And it, along with a healthy diet, has changed my life. And I'm down 85 pounds since July 6, 2018. The Cellar Sizer is the single best piece of exercise equipment I have ever used. Thanks, David Hall. <laughs> and it shows Tina. I don't know if you can see it. She's with the whole group on top of the, top of the mountain. <laughs> Thanks, Tina. And, you know, we got this one a little while back, but I'm not sure if I read it to you. We've been getting some really good customer reviews on the app. People have actually been using it and getting results from it and appreciating it. We've got some updates that are coming out very shortly and more on the way. So hang in there with us. Um, I'll show one of them is going to be the timer. You're going to have another timer on the screen that will help you know when that particular movement is done so you can prepare for the next movement. And we're also going to have a ding that will go off without, when you mute the music. So you'll be able to do the different movements. It'll ding without music as an option. We're working on that one. And that hopefully will be soon um, available as well. Okay, just wanted to take a minute to let you know I love this app. I just downloaded it and used it for the first time. I had a cellar sizer for years and haven't ever found something this great. And I wanted to stick with regarding rebounder instruction. I love this, the piece of it with no one, the piece of it, as in quietness, with no one talking and how you set it up. The simplicity of it is fantastic. I have a yoga app called Yoga Studio that was done similar to this that I've had for years where you could build your workouts from different positions and it is very peaceful as well. I love the platform. Sometimes I just want peace. I loved walking in the woods when I was a kid for that exact reason. So nice that you did this app like this. I love it. Thank you so much. I appreciate your passion for this product. You make a difference. Keep up the great work. All right. We've... Uh, Oh my, we're done for those. Let's go ahead and answer a few questions okay. and then we're going to share some exercise movements. So I have your cellar sizer <laughs> out. You can do these with me if you'd like. Okay, so this gal has lymphedema problems with her thigh to her leg down to her feet and she actually posted some pictures. It's quite significant. Yep. Um, why will this, why will your cellar sizer, she's wanting to know why the cellar sizer is better than any other rebounder in helping her with this. Great, great, great question. Thank you. And the cellar sizer is not a typical rebounder. Many rebounders can be very sluggish. They, they can be too soft. If they're too soft, they don't have enough resistance to cause the valves to open and shut effect distance. Um, then the body is not going to be pumping efficiently. If it's too hard, then the body tenses up. And instead of opening up, it, it starts, it, it can actually cause more damage or jarring um, because the abrupt, of the abrupt, abruptness or abrupt stop at the bottom of the bounce. The reason we use the tridaptable spring design and technology is because irrespective of how high you are jumping or how much you weigh, you're utilizing that portion of the spring that gives you the support. So you get the deceleration with resistance. We've got, we use the best steel and acceleration to create the pumping action, which helps give us the results. We often have people who have written us saying, how come I never get these kind of results on this unit or, or this other unit? And I said, well, it's because it probably wasn't designed the way the cellar sizer was for the purpose of the cellar sizer. Cellar sizer is not for jumping up high and doing tricks. That's what we get trampolines for. The cellar sizer is done where you are close to the mat, a couple of few inches up at the most, and the movement is at the mat in the springs. It's in the springs and just above the springs. That's when the cells are expanding and contracting, the valves are pumping and circulating. When you jump high, all you're doing is floating. The body's not really working, it's just floating. We don't want to float when we cellar size. We want to have good support so we can do the different movements and get the benefits, and that's what cellar size gives. Okay. All right. So last week you posted an article, and this is in conjunction to that, where she said it was full of great suggestions, especially the smart and the buddy. I'm curious if the 10 minutes has to be all at once to have best effect, or if I can do five two-minute bursts throughout the day and have the same benefits. That's a great question, too. Just getting on it is going to be beneficial. 
it's a 10 minute routine, which goes a longer period of time, has benefits. Two five minute routines also have benefits. They can be, they can overlap each other, but it's not the amount of time, again, it's the intensity or how we challenge the body within the amount of time. The more often we challenge the body during the course of the day, the more often the, um, the faster and easier it is for the body to start to adapt. Every time we challenge the body, we can increase our metabolic processes. So if we do it more than once a day or several times a day, our metabolism goes up and slowly comes back down. If we do it for a longer sustained period of time, we might, depending on the intensity, be burning more of the white adipose tissue. We've gone through the glucose and the sugars, and now the body is going after more of the stored calories. So there's benefits to, to both styles. And the most important thing, getting on the cellular size. It's been said, doing five minutes a day is better than four, four is better than three, three is better than two, two is better than one, one's better than none at all. Okay, all right. So I think this kind of goes in conjunction with it. Is it normal that I have been getting on mine for a month, not every day, and can only get up to four minutes? I swear it feels like I've had an intense workout by then. <laughs> you know, that's, and, and, and I'm really glad to hear that because people think, you know, 10 minutes a day, you can do this in 10 minutes a day. I say, yeah, but most people, have to, most people have to work up to that 10 minutes a day. If you've ever been on a big trampoline, you know how exhausting it is with the, all these G-forces working on the body. Well, Cellulosizer is very similar. It uses every single cell of your body with G-forces over 100 times a minute, not just certain body parts. So yes, it takes time for the body to adapt. But as we continue to do it, and as we increase in our mitochondria, and as our energy level improves, and our circulation improves, and our body functions improve, and we work more efficiently, then we'll be able to sustain it for a longer period of time. I tell people, and I keep saying it all the time, we don't have to work out when we play in. You don't have to work hard on this cellular sizer. Play on it, let it work on you. So this kind of goes along with it as well. If they only do the health bounce, let's say they end up doing that for years, is there a benefit in in that for them. So. Yeah, that's the most important physical activity I truly believe we can do on a day-to-day -day basis. That movement up and down is what separates blood cells, increases oxygen, and, and helps to um, feed circulation through the cell membranes. The pressure changes, it activates the lymphatic system, it back flushes valves, it helps to open up capillaries, it challenges balance and equilibrium. There are so many incredible benefits to just doing the health bounce that um, if people had any idea, you know, even what Dr. Hanks was talking about a moment ago, any idea of what that movement can do, that kinetic movement through, through the, cell, the cells as well as the lymph system, the pressure changes, we're weightless, and weight collectively as a whole, not as parts. There's so many benefits to it. That's what we tell people, try it, experience it. Um, Everybody needs to. They just don't know it yet. That's all of our jobs, to help them understand it. So this is the last question we've got that was posted. Sure. How safe is the cellar sizer with those, for those with serious cardiac issues if they only do the baby bounce? Good. Good question. That's a medical question. I need to say consult with your doctor or health practitioner. But one thing I can say is that the cellar sizer makes it easier on the heart and the collateral muscles around the heart. So as you're moving up and down, it's pumping with the heart to move that fluid through those one-way valves, to back flush the valves, to, to open up circulation and help prevent or reduce sticky blood cells so that it's easier for the heart to move that circulation through the body parts and, and various different functions. So um, I've worked a lot with a number of cardiologists, some of them on staff at USC, and and others, and there's great benefit. People that have pacemakers have been able to cellular size. Again, consult with your doctor, health practitioner. I'm obligated because I want you to have a good experience, but I also know the benefits that will come as we cellular size and the consequences that often come when we don't. All right, so All we're right. ready to move on to your back special. Okay, let's do it. And I always like to do it barefoot so that the feet can move and, and get more flexible and, and help support the body. We're gonna start with the upper cervical and these are some movements 
that are designed to help and have been effective in helping to reduce headaches, that have been helpful with the neck um, and circulation, I believe, to the brain as well. But starting off, we, we put our fingers right by the uh, vertebral joints directly under the atlas, and we do these little circular movements up. As we're moving up, we're also pushing into the vertebral joints gently. Doesn't take a lot. Keep in mind that a couple minutes of this, you have millions of one-way valves in the body sucking circulation in through the lymph system and helping to pull that circulation through the bones and joints and tissue spaces of the body. As we're moving up and down, we're making it easier for the heart to move that circulation to the brain and other extremities of the body. So we're we're pushing up on, on the atlas a little bit. We can help. If you feel any discomfiture in there, you can help massage that. And eventually that should go away. And it, it just becomes more flexible. And you help release that tension. Gravity alone helps create that tension. So this helps to release it. And then we can move up and down the vertebral joints. Just kind of pushing in, back and forth. If you notice one area that's a little sore, you can work on that a little bit more. There's other movements, but this is what we're going to be working on today. Okay, so then we can take our right hand, stick it over our head, and then just gently pull it to the right. I'm going to go count of ten. One, two, three, four. Five, six, gently seven, eight, nine, ten, and then we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're pulling a little bit, but we're gonna do the other side. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now we're going to take, we're going to help as we've opened that up. Let's move a little circulation in there. Loosen up those muscles a little bit more. And working up and down the vertebral joints. That's good. Now we're going to do it again. So, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Massage. Pushing up and pushing in to those vertebral joints. And you may already feel difference. Um, it's not unusual to have tension in, in the neck and in the muscles that surround and support it. So this, you can... Tilt the head back and forth a little bit. Get a little movement in there. As we're helping to push fluid. And keep in mind that the pumping up and down of the cellar is helping to move that circulation through all that tissue as well. So it's an added ad ad benefit. Okay, we're going to do it one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Get that a little backwards. But that's right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to do gentle movements up and down again. 
And this is all in the upper cervical area. Now I work a, a lot with chiropractors and they'll make adjustments. The muscles are generally not used to the new alignment. And so they have a tendency to pull the bones back out of alignment and then you have to go to another adjustment. So the chiropractors that I work with often will do the adjustment and then have the patient gently moving up and down so the muscles are flexing around the new alignment. It's very gentle. And you can turn your head a little bit, get a little stretch there, and then the other direction. And as you're doing this on a day-to-day -day basis, you'll, you'll find that the neck becomes more flexible again, and that, that's a good thing. Okay, so now what we're going to do is work on the, uh, the scapula and shoulder area. So this one we've shown before, but let's take our arm and kind of hook it underneath our left arm and then just kind of pull it this direction and gently move up and down so you can feel the stretch in the shoulder area. And just bounce three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now we're going to do the same thing with the other one. So we we'll pull. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And if all you can do is start off holding it like this a little bit, that's okay. You don't have to be extreme. Remember, just go gentle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we can do it again this way. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And as we're doing that, you may feel stretch in different areas. It could be in the shoulder, it could be in the back, it could be in the scapula. Our objective is to help open it up. So now what we're going to do, and you can do a couple more sets of those in, in, in the routine, but what we're going to do now is just kind of move the shoulders forward. Two, three, four, five, up. One, two, three, four, five, and then back. One, to be careful going back. Three, four, five, and then down. One, two, three, four, five. Do gentle because this one, if you don't have a lot of space and you irritate a nerve, you'll feel it tomorrow. The neat thing about cellular size is it is forgiving. So let's very gentle. Four, five, and back. One, two, three, four, five, down. One, two, three, four, five, and one more. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four. Five. Okay, now do a couple rotating ones. And we're going to go back the other way. One, two, three, four, five. Now you may hear popping and cartilage and movements and things like that because we're not used to doing those things, and that's okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start to loosen up we're going to work on the lower back, mid to lower back. So spreading our feet apart a little bit. We're going to just gently start rocking left to right. Now we're going to lift our shoulders up as we're doing it and lift our knee up. And as we're doing this back and forth, our hips are dropping into the mat. And this is, I think, probably, I don't know, it's in the top five most important physical activities I believe we can do on a cellar sizer. And that's because of what it does to help open up the vertebral joints in the back and increase circulation to the disc. This is the one where I've mentioned before where you, if you see a dog get on the ground upside down, he rolls around on his back and he's getting all this motion into his back. That's what this one helps. So do this for just a little bit more. And then if you have a balance bar, you can hold on to the balance bar. We're going to take our elbow, stick it up over our head, and just kind of lift up. And as we gently 
bounce up and down, we're going to take and lean to the left. And as we're leaning to the left, we'll just do that for a couple, a couple moments. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can feel that anywhere from the top all the way down through the hip, depending on where it's tight. So now we're going to do the same thing on this side. Lean this direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. I even feel it in the psoas muscle in the, the very front, which is a very hard muscle generally to, to get to. So um, let's do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're going to do the same thing the other way. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now we're going to add a little variance. What I want you to do first, just do a gentle, you just lift the heels up and down. We're very gently loosening up that, those muscles in the back again. Now, if you notice any discomfiture, just go ahead and stop. Um, you don't have to keep going. Our objective is to open up the vertebral joints, increase space between the discs. And, or the joints and circulation to the disc. So now we're going to take we're going to take that same move a step further. So we'll stick that elbow up, up again, overhead, lean to the left. And now as we gently move up and down, we're going to take the right leg and cross it in front of the left leg with every other bounce. So it goes like this: one, two, three, four. Now you're trying to feel it in the lower back. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now we're going to do the other side. Elbow up, lean a little bit. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you should be, you should be feeling looser now. Okay, we'll do it again. We're going to lean and one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then the other way, one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now we're ready to do the the dog wiggle movement again. I don't know what else to call it. It's just like this. Elbows or shoulders up and down. And we're just working those muscles all along the vertebral joints. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to take and we're going to um, lift our heels up and down. We're going to do a gentle twist. So we're twisting with uh, the waist. Very gentle, no torquing, you don't need to torque. Very gentle, just what we're doing right now is we're just loosening up muscles. We've created a negative pressure within the body through the movement up and down with the lymphatic system. So it's helping to suck that circulation in between the bones and joints. If you have sciatica issues, this movement helps to loosen up the back and the nerves, or opening up the space between the nerves so that we can help reduce swelling, um, loosen up muscles that tighten up, and that nerve that wraps around here. We're going to work on that now. So we're doing the gentle twist. Then what we do is we keep our hips straight ahead, and we're going to lift the heels up and down, and we're now twisting in the hip socket area. But the hips are straight ahead. And this one has proven to be very, very helpful to people that have had sciatica issues. And again, I have to say consult with your doctor or have your doctor feel free to give me a call on some of these approaches. But okay, that's that for that. Now, if you've noticed any discomfiture in your back, um, we're going to 
if you have a partner, we're going to actually have you lie down on the cellar sizer. And I'm going to ask Carrie if I can use him as a guinea pig in a minute. Yep, <laughs> it'd be good. <laughs> but for those of you who feel more flexible and want to take it to another level, you, you can go ahead and do the, you bend over, grab the, grab the, uh, the frame, and then just kind of lift up, bend at one knee, lift, straighten out the left leg, kind of pull your toes up a little bit, and, and then you just kind of push back a little with the back so that you're opening up the back and loosening up the muscles along the, the hamstring area. And then same thing this way. So you can kind of see it. This is what it looks like. And you can do a number of those and progressively over a number of days. And you can bend. I mean, you can get down <laughs> depending on, on what you're comfortable with. You can even, uh, you can even use the, the bar to help and just help support yourself when you first get started. But when you get a little more flexible, um, you can hold on to that frame again and try to feel it in the lower back as you're gently rocking and if you want to straighten your legs out you can you know I've done variances of this where you just drop the hands and this isn't so much for the back as it is for the for the hamstring but, and that's that should help make you feel more flexible okay so now what we're going to do is I'm going to pull the cellar sizer over here I didn't tell Carrie ahead of time so Christine if you can let me bring this camera down, down over there. yeah we could have we can do that let's do that all right okay can you grab that leg and then when you get done with this um if you will show them up close how you massage your neck when you do that first part. Yeah. That would be Oops. awesome. Oh, we'll get it. Okay. All right. This is perfect. This movement, what I'm about to share with you, I designed this over 20 years ago. It is, it's been so helpful to so many people when their back is really giving them an issue. Uh, it takes the vertical pressure off of the vertebral joints, off the nerves, and the muscles can relax. So what, we, what I want to do here is, Carrie, I want you to lie down on that cellar sizer. So go ahead and sit down right here and then lie down. Perfect. All right. Oh, I like you like that? <laughs> it takes a vertical pressure off of the disc, so the nerve is no longer being threatened. I believe chiropractors all over the country and the world, if they understood this movement and, and the, the relief that it has provided for so many people, they would be adopting this in droves. Because when a person comes in and they're under pain and they've got that pressure on that nerve and that muscle is knotted up, um, it's very, very, very uncomfortable. So this one here, we've got great customer reviews on the stories. Go ahead and move your hands out to the side a little bit. And just go ahead and set them down right here so you relax. Good. So laying down horizontally, it may look weird, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> it feels good. So what I'm going to do is gently move up and down. And Carrie's just going to gently relax. And I can adjust the amount of force by how much I bend at my knees. So both, both of us are getting benefit right now. It's helping to strengthen my thighs and, and my knees and increase circulation to my knees, as well as helping him to release the stress and tension in the vertebral joints. The nerves not being threatened by the vertical pressure on them, the nerves the muscles around the nerves can now start to relax. And so this isn't a surface massage. You can't get this through hand massage, which is great. Nothing wrong with that. But this is a deep massage. This is working through the whole body, doesn't it? Oh, you yeah. Feel? yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I've actually had one gentleman and three women fall asleep on me 
in live sessions, as I was talking to the audience, I looked down and they were gone. Babies love the same movie. It is extremely relaxing. So if you can be watching your favorite TV show and somebody else can be laying there, um, it, it is, everybody sh should experience this. So then I rock side to side. Now as I'm rocking side to side, I'm allowing the hips to roll. And as the hips roll, we've taken pressure off of the nerve. We're gently rolling to loosen up the muscles more now. But the whole time we're pumping circulation to help reduce inflammation or, or swelling in those areas, subluxation or, or even bulging discs. And that's not unusual. Bulging discs are, are common and they occur and they can go away. I mean, that, this movement can help reposition um, those discs and increase that circulation. So stories, I mean, if you go to our customer reviews page, sellersize.com forward slash reviews, and read about some of the back issues. I, I don't know if we have them all on there, but they're just, some of them are miraculous, literally. And then it's back up and down. Now, as I'm moving up and down, we're massaging the liver, kidney, spleen, gallbladder, pancreas, adrenals, everything. The whole, it's extremely relaxing. So if you can and you're comfortable and you're done doing this and you've been under distress and this is providing you relief when i'm done you know they they can go ahead and sleep and go ahead and stay there and sleep for a while um or go to bed either way but it's it can it, it can help the stories have been wonderful absolutely wonderful so again back and forth and you can do this and people say how long should you do it how long can they keep you up there i mean it's um it's very it really is. It's just, just a gentle massage um, through the entire body. So I hope you've had a chance to experience that and that if you know people that uh, their back is bothering them, you know, this isn't playing medicine. This is dealing with fitness, okay? And they want to deal with the, the back or just experience it, great. If they're dealing with a back problem and it's serious, then have them consult with their doctor but um, or share this this movement with the doctor so the doctor can see the uh, efficacy of it and whether it's going to be beneficial for them so good still awake Dave yep <laughs> all right <laughs> sorry Carrie <laughs> glad to hear how's it feel though it feels good yeah good yeah. good hope everybody has a chance to experience it thank you we'll see you uh, we'll see you next week please keep sharing and caring and and being a part of the solar size family which is to help other people recognize that we've got a greater health potential and we want them to be able to experience it thank you all so very much